The earthquake in Ecuador happened the same day as the latest earthquake in Japan. So we're looking into whether they could be connected. Tyler Malden joining us with more on that. Right, and Shannon, this new video shows the landslide that the earthquake in Japan triggered. Take a look at this. Today, rescue workers uh, are trying to free people who are trapped. Both the, earth, the Ecuador quake and the recent earthquakes in Japan happened in this horseshoe-shaped area known as the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is the zone of earthquakes and volcanoes around the edges of the Pacific Ocean. About 90% of the world's earthquakes happen there, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Even with Ecuador and Japan both in the Ring of Fire, the USGS says it's too early to tell if the quakes are related. They're across the ocean from each other and about 9,600 miles apart. But there is the possibility of remote triggering. Scientists are studying it now. It's the possibility a big quake could cause another quake far away. Earthquakes, the magnitudes of the ones that just hit Ecuador and Japan, 7.0 to 7.9 happen about 15 times a year. That's according to information collected by the USGS. Earthquakes with a magnitude of 8 or bigger happen about once a year. 